So how old were you when you first experienced a broken heart? For many of us, it's as a teenager. Meeting someone, falling head over heels, the dizzy emotions, all the cliches about a teenage crush. And then wham, it's all over. Feelings of devastation, hurt, anger, wondering what went wrong. It's an experience that teaches us that only love can break our heart. And it's not just romantic love, it's other relationships too. Being let down by a family member, a friend, someone close to us dying before we've had the chance to say goodbye. What then becomes of the broken hearted, as the Motown classic goes? Well, the responsorial psalm for today's Mass, Psalm 33, contains some good news. And this is what the psalmist says. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all, the Lord will rescue him. When we're broken hearted, we feel extremely alone. But in fact, we're not alone at all. In these situations, the Lord is especially near to us. When we read the Gospels, we notice that Jesus always goes to the brokenhearted, whether it's widows, the dying, those who are ill, the lost, the outcasts, the rejected. At the Last Supper, even when his heart was beginning to break, Jesus had good news for the brokenhearted, his disciples. He tells them, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. At Gethsemane, his heart was torn, but he didn't stop loving. Even after total abandonment on the cross, Christ simply said, forgive them. What becomes of the brokenhearted? Well, we can say with complete certainty that the Lord draws near. You see, even if human love has departed, God's love remains. And yes, only love can break your heart, but in time the love of God will heal it.